joining us. New on 2 News at 6 in HD, residents of a Midtown Tulsa neighborhood are speaking out about their possible new neighbors. A meeting on a proposed apartment complex is about to get underway. 2 News reporter Marla Carter is live near 11th and Hudson to tell us what's behind the controversy. Marla? Plus, the idea is to turn this field into an apartment complex with 60 units. Those behind the idea say it could actually be good for the community. But some neighbors are saying, don't build it. Opal Hainan and her husband Floyd have been living in the Glenhaven neighborhood for 35 years. In this neighborhood, it's nice and quiet. But they're concerned that could all change if an apartment complex goes up near their home. It's a $6 million apartment complex that the Day Center for the Homeless is building. And it concerns me. I know that they'll be everywhere, and I don't care what they say, they're not going to stay cooped up in a little room day and night. You're not going to have a lot of homeless people running around. This, I mean, it's going to be like an apartment complex where people have to pay rent. Day Center board members say their idea came because there are not a lot of affordable places to live in Tulsa. The same controversy surrounded this complex near I-244 in Yale six months ago. We do have uh, some people that used to be homeless in places like the day center and the other shelters in the city that have moved in. But despite concerns, Shin says it's been a success for the community. Police say crime is actually down in the area, and Shin says community service is up. Many of the residents here are actually giving back uh, to the community. They're getting jobs in the neighborhood. It's made a big difference for James Sears. He's a recovering addict. It's a lot, a lot, a better place to stay sober, stay clean. Still, the Haymans aren't convinced and say they'll fight to the end. And I'm strictly against it, and I wish they'd move it somewhere else. Now, the center is working to raise an additional $5 million. Once that happens, the project should get underway. Again, there is a meeting at 6.30 at City Hall. We have a crew there, and we'll bring you the latest tonight at 10 o'clock. Reporting live from Midtown, Marla Carter, 2 News, works for you.